comparison of rational numbers. So comparison nothing but which rational number is big or which is the small, which is how much time it's more than the other number. So there is nothing but comparison. So if we know the numbers of natural numbers or old numbers or integers, we know how to compare. For example, if we take 5 and 12, we know 5 is the less than 12 because 5 is less than 12. If you take minus 5 and minus 12, then minus 12 only less. That means minus 5 is greater than minus 12. 5 and minus 12. You no, know, 5 is greater than minus 5 and 12. Minus 5 is less. So these are the less than symbol, greater than symbol. This is greater than symbol. Or this is less than symbol and this is greater than symbol. This is less than symbol. So minus 5 is less than 12. So we know how to compare the numbers when the integers are given. Now this topic will see comparison of rational numbers. So let us uh, follow some few steps. So which are the steps we need to follow? I'll explain you first. So step one is, so actually they will give some rational numbers. We need to see which is uh, lesser, which is more. So it's not uh, by seeing directly rational numbers, we can't say which is bigger or which is small. For example, 2 by 3, 17 by 20. So like this comparison, we cannot uh, know directly by seeing because 2 by 3 and this 17 by 20. We can't uh, guess directly by seeing the rational numbers which is uh, small or which is the big. That's what we need to use some basic properties or some steps to see how to compare the rational numbers. So first step is express each of the given rational numbers into form of having positive denominators. Okay, For example, we'll take one simple question. Let me take one question and we'll see the steps. Minus 5 by comma 24 9 by minus 24 minus 3 by 4 and 7 by 16 So these are the four numbers, uh, four rational numbers. Now in these four rational numbers, I need to compare, or I should write, for example, ascending order. That means which is the smallest and next to small like this, then which is the bigger. So I need to write make them into ascending order. So we need writing ascending order means we should know first of all what is the small number and what is the bigger number and what is the order. Now let us see. So this is uh, minus 24. So if the numbers are given like this, the first step, express each of the given rational numbers into the form of having positive denominators. First step is we have to convert into positive denominators. So all the denominators should be positive. So first number is minus 5 by 24. And second is 9 by minus 24. That means multiply with minus both. That we can write minus 9 by plus 24. Because 9 by minus 24 or minus 9 by 24 is same. Second is minus 3 by 4 and 7 by 16. That is convert into positive denominators first. Now step 2. Find the LCM of these positive denominators. 
find LCM of all you studied LCM in earlier classes find LCM of these positive denominators okay let us uh, find the LCM of these positive denominators that is uh, 24 24 4 and 16 so I'm doing LCM now so I can take directly 4 table 6 6 1 4 so you already studied so I'm going fast now two table three three one two again we can take a three table one one two asterisk then let us take next last step is two now this all is already one two ones are two this we need to multiply now four into 2 into 3 into 2. So 4 to the 8, 8, 3 is a 24, 24 to is a 48. Okay, 40, 48 is a LCM now. Now these are the fractions, uh, rational numbers. Finally, got LCM is 48. So step 2 is we need to find the LCM of these positive denominators. We found the LCM is 48. Now express each of the rational numbers in step 1 to equivalent rational numbers. So we need to convert them equivalent rational numbers. So next step express equivalent rational numbers. So let me exp uh, express this all in equivalent rational numbers with the denominator should be 48. Now first one is minus 5 by 24. Right? Minus 5 by 24. So we need equivalent rational number but denominators of all the fra uh, rational numbers should be 48 because LCM is 48. <coughs> now 24 so into 2 and 2 because 24 2 is a 48 next one if you see this minus 9 by 24 minus 9 by 24 <coughs> now denominator is 24 so 2 and 2 next is minus 3 by 4 And what we need to multiply you can just check it now next is 7 by 16 7 by 16 so what we need to multiply to get denominator should be 48 yeah you can check it 4 table 48 12 same 12 you should keep here in 16 table 16 how much 3 is up and 3 also keep here. So this is expressing equivalent rational numbers. Then you can simplify. Now if you simplify this all, minus 5 into 2, minus 10 by 48, minus 18 by 48, just I am simplifying now, <coughs> 12, 3 is minus 3, minus 36 by 48, 7, 3 is 21 by 48. So once if you make the denominator same, that means if you convert into equivalent rational numbers with same denominator, then we can directly by verifying the numerator, we can write, we can compare them easily. Then last step, arranging rational numbers in increasing or decreasing order. 
then we need to make increasing or decreasing according to the numerator so right increasing order by comparing the numerators because denominator is fixed denominator is same all now according to that the first one is minus 10 if you observe your minus 10 minus 18 minus 36 and 21 so smallest one is minus 36 therefore increasing order so minus 36 by 48 and next is minus 18 by 48 next is minus 10 by 48 and 21 by 48 now this is a we converted then you can write the original value of which is belongs to now first smallest value is minus 36 by 48 but originally this is not the given question number minus 36 by 48 means if you take to up that is a minus 3 by 4 now this is the smallest one so as according to that if you make in order increasing order minus 3 by 4 is less next is minus 18 by 48 that is a minus 18 next is minus 18 by 48 second place that is minus 9 by so you can make it so you just you can make it order minus 9 by 24 Now this is minus 5 by 12 and finally 21 by 40 is that more uh, 7 by 16. Now these are the steps we need to follow to comparison of rational numbers. So only thing is we need to arrange the denominators to equivalent rational numbers and there is nothing but we need to take a LCM and should make LCM should be equal to for all the denominators so not only four any two or three more than two if they will be also same procedure if they will give two rational numbers and ask to compare also then we can take the two denom two rational numbers denominators and we'll find out the LCM just we need to simplify this So next we will see a representation of rational numbers on number line. So we need to represent rational numbers on number line. 